guys, I'm here today with my November favorites. Um, everybody always says that the year is flying by and the months are flying by, but honestly, yeah, they are. Everybody's right. Nobody's lying. It's true. So, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so let's start with lip items. Um, I have quite a bit of lip items. As we all know, I've been loving the darker lip around this time of the year. Right now, I don't have a darker lip because I did quite a bit of smoky, so I figured I'd have like a neutral color on. But I have been loving dark lips, like almost like dark purple on the borderline of almost black looking. But I don't know, it's just like my favorite thing to do. If you've noticed in a couple of my videos, um, I've been using Night Moth by MAC, and it's just a really dark purple lip liner. And so I'll just show you. Oh, I need to sharpen this guy. But, oop, yep, and I feel some wood. So I don't want to get that on myself. Um, so yeah, it's just a dark purple. It looks a little bit more of like a berry purple when it shows up on camera, um, but it is kind of darker in person. I've been pairing this with like all three of these lip, these uh, lippies that I have. So um, the first one is Media, and this is a new favorite. Um, I've had this about two months now because I did Back to Mac a couple of months ago and I got this. And at first I was like, oh boy, that's so dark and it looks like Diva by MAC, which I have and I've showed you before Diva, but this is a lot darker than Diva. So again, it matches Night Moth perfectly. It goes on so dark, especially mix the two. It makes it, it doesn't, it, by itself it doesn't look as dark as it is. If I fill my lips in entirely with Night Moth and then put this over it, it looks phenom. So I've been loving media and I mentioned this in my last video. Um, I couldn't find media actually when I was doing uh, my Thanksgiving tutorial, which I'll link down below if you didn't see it. It was a collab with Beauty by Brit. Um, I used Living Legend, which is almost identical to media. If Living Legend w just came out, um, I didn't even put two and two together that they looked identical, but um, so if you didn't get your hands on Living Legend, Media is pretty close to it. Um, this is Living Legend, so it does appear darker, um, but it's very similar. Um, so I guess it wouldn't be considered a dupe, but it's very similar, especially mixed with Night Moth. It looks amazing. Um, this is the perfect lip, lip color for Night Moth. And my last one is this Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Pencil in Apocalypse. And it looks like this and that is pretty similar to um, Living Legend if you again couldn't get your hands on Living Legend um, I'm pretty sure this is not a limited edition color but I've been wearing this one and it has more of a gloss I forgot to mention that Media um, is a satin finish and I think I don't know I just threw it over there but I think Living Legend is either satin or matte I can't really remember but this one is a glossy color so if you don't like the look of like matte lips and you want something with like a gloss then Apocalypse is definitely the color that you should grab if you're looking to do more of the deep wine to darker colored lip. A uh, mascara that I've been loving is the one that I just did the first impressions on. It is the Lash, Lash Sensational. I can't say this. Why does it have to be so like ugh? And I did a first impressions on this. Um, I do really like this. I haven't, I'm not wearing it right now, which I should have. I mean, but you saw my video, so not a big deal. But I do really like this a lot. Again, I keep it in my purse. Um, for days that I'm running behind schedule and I just need to throw mascara on, I'd rather have this at my fingertips than bring my Better Than Sex mascara. Um, but this one is great. You need to go check this out if you haven't. I've been seeing it a little bit more often now. Like I saw it at CVS the other night and I saw it at Walgreens a few uh, days ago, I think. Um, so I got mine at Harmon and I know a lot of people were like, oh, I can't find it anywhere. So um, you might want to go check your drugstore again because they might have it now. So a couple of face items. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I've always wanted to try this because whenever I go to the store, I always smell it because it smells like chocolate. But it's just like this great matte bronzer. And it's not like at all like a like red. It's not like a orange undertone or anything. It's true to like a bronze color. And it shows up so nicely. I just watched that really awkwardly, but you can see it right there. Um, 
it is just amazing and I always wanted to get the full size so um, maybe as soon as I'm done with this there's quite a bit of product in it but um, it's in the color medium deep I forgot to mention that because I think they have a few different shades but medium deep is perfect for me I have it on today um, if I run out of this which it doesn't seem like it, a lot of product is in it but I would like to eventually get the full size because I think this might take the place of Hoola even though I was always raving and Holy Grail, Hula. Um, I think this one is a lot better, and if you're looking for a good bronzer, you might want to check this out. Next is something that I was hesitant to buy because I thought it was just something that I didn't need, and I'm not a huge highlighter person, but I did this use this recently in a couple of videos. Um, it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and it looks like this. This is a great palette. Again, it's for like highlighting purposes. I'm not a huge highlighting person, but I have been really liking this occasionally just to um, throw on the tops of my cheekbones. Um, I also am not sure, but I'm not positive if this has been breaking me out or not because I have been breaking out quite a bit. Um, I'm really hoping it's not because it's like a great palette and I really hope it's not. But um, if you're looking to get this, um, it's three of them. Normally I think they're 48 a pop, so I think this one's cheaper. Well, yeah, this is cheaper for three of them. They're not the full size, but it's a good size. You get a lot of product, so um, I would definitely recommend this if you're looking to try a couple of highlights and you're usually not into highlighting. This is amazing because they're not too glittery. They're not shimmer. They're not too shimmery. They have just like this great lighting about them, um, and I love this, so you might want to check that out too. Next, I have this palette, this eyeshadow palette by NARS, and... I don't remember when I got this. It was probably a couple of years ago, and it was then. It wasn't even at a store. I think a friend of mine threw, um, like this little makeup party, and they were selling Nars stuff. Like they were selling like those duos and everything like that. I don't know if this even has a name because I don't see anything. It just has like a number. It's uh, three seven two eight eyeshadow palette, and I've had this for a long time, and it's just like a rediscovered item. Um, but I have this on today, like I don't know if you could see it, um, I did a lot of these colors. This is Coconut Grove and as you can see this one um, has been attacked by me. Um, again, I've had that for a long time and I used to use this shade for my eyebrows which I would probably never do now. Um, so this is Coconut Grove. Um, I don't know how to say this one but it's such a pretty color. It's like, it's like a, I don't know, it's like almost like a sand color. That's what I would describe it as. So. Um, I've been loving this color for all over my lid. Um, this is just a great, uh, what is it called? This is a great, like, um, highlight shade, like if you want a nude, like a matte highlight. Um, I think that's called Cypress. And, uh, but I've been loving this, um, a lot lately, especially if I want to do more of, like, a natural, smoky, um, ish kind of look. I've been really going for this lately, so... Um, I, again, I don't know if you can get your hands on this or not, but again, I'll link it down below. You know I used to love my Maybelline, uh, clear, the clear mascara for my eyebrows, and I don't have any issues with that, but I just wanted something that was a little bit less, um, clumpy. It wasn't super clumpy, but I feel like I had to, like, wipe the wand a couple of times. Um, if you, ha if you had that and you find, like, you have the same problem that you have to constantly wipe the wand when it gets, like, built up residue on it, um, I would definitely recommend, um, NYX Control Freak. Um, it's just a clear, um, yeah, it's eyebrow gel, it says even on it. I thought it was just, like, a mascara, but it's a clear brow gel, and it, the wand is just, like, a, you know, a regular, like, wand, nothing fancy about it. But I've been loving this for my brows. Um, I set it constantly. I just want to always make sure my brows are in place. It's something that always irritates me. Like, even if I'm with my boyfriend or with a friend of mine and one of their eyebrows is out of place, I will, like, touch their face and be like, okay, your eyebrows are looking some kind of busted mess right now, so I'm going to fix them. This is my favorite um, drugstore clear brow gel ever. Next, on to skincare. I have a few new things that I've been using. Um... I got this um, because of Sam. She talks about this all the time. It is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. And it just looks like this. 
Um, it's just something that you put on your face overnight and you put it on like a, a breakout that you have, like one that's really bad. Like I have a really bad one right here. Um, I put that on last night. Again, I don't know what's going on with my skin. My skin's like going crazy. Um, but this does really help. Like I put it on everywhere. This one, it, it kind of helped a little bit, but there were a couple of other ones I had that were like, um, you know, a little puffy and then this morning they were like down and they started scabbing so it's really good I really do like this it's not expensive at all so um, if you're looking for something to dot on your face before you go to sleep if you have a breakout this one is definitely something that you should look into getting next I have a um, moisturizer from the drugstore actually it's by clean and clear and it's called morning burst hydrating gel moisturizer and it looks like this, and I love the the packaging. I think it's just so pretty. Um, but I got this because my boyfriend does not moisturize his face, and I'm constantly on his case because he like dries out in his T zone, and he, I don't know. He's a boy. He's like, Ugh, I don't have to clean my face. I'm like, Yeah, you do. You have skin just like everybody else. So I told him I was like, Maybe you should get this, and I was like, You know what? Maybe I'll get this because they had a deal at, at CVS, and I think it was like buy one get one half off everything from Clean and Clear. So I was like, You know what? I'll try it too. This is amazing. I will probably never go and buy my Clinique um, moisturizer that I always buy, like the dramatically different one. This one is so much cheaper. It's just as good. It's a gel, again, a gel formula. I don't use lotion moisturizers because I have oily skin. Um, and this time of the year I get kind of like combo oily. Um, but this one is great. It doesn't over dry me or anything like that. Um, I don't feel like my skin feels... Um, overwhelmed with anything it's not heavy it's a very light formula like I just squeeze a little bit and I mix it all over my face and I kind of pat it into my face um, I use this at night and I use this in the morning as well next I have a face moisturizer and this one is the clear days ahead by philosophy and it just looks like this a lot of blue stuff right now you know um, but this is a oil free salicylic acne treatment cleanser and it's in a gel formula again you know I love gel formulas for like my face this has been really helping it has like a like a citrus kind of smell to it and it's been really good I really like it with my Clarisonic um and I can't say good enough things about this and I've used it quite a bit um I got this less than a month and a half ago and I've been like sparingly using it I use it more at night than I do in the morning I have a perfume as well I feel like I always have a perfume um but is the Nicki Minaj Pink Friday perfume and this is just like the most obnoxious packaging you've ever seen isn't it um I mentioned a couple of months ago that I had Menagesty and that's like her newer one that she had released um and I did like that. It was in a roller ball, roller ball form, but I actually misplaced that. And then Sephora, not Sephora, Ulta was having a deal. Um, it was like 20% off everything, like even prestige and perfume and stuff like that. Um, so I did take advantage of that. And I think this was also um, marked down as well. So I got like an additional percent off. Um, but it's really good. It smells very like like fruity mixed with a little bit of floral but not too much because I'm not a huge floral person because I have allergies so I've been absolutely loving this even though the packaging I could have lived without okay shampoo and conditioner time um I used to use these in high school um this was actually the only shampoo and conditioner I used in high school um I was obsessed with it it is the herbal essence hello hydration shampoo and conditioner and it is in this blue bottle and it's so obnoxious <laughs> but again all these blue items um but oh it smells so good it smells like coconuts because that's like what's on it it's um coconut essence that's what it says on it but it's so it makes my hair so soft and so moisturized and um I don't feel like it weighs down my hair at all either which is really good I usually condition up to the top of my ears but I feel comfortable going a little bit higher with the conditioner because it doesn't weigh my hair down and I think that's amazing I'm really happy with these I'm glad that I went back to them um, and I just think they're amazing if you feel like your hair is very dry these are really good and they're very inexpensive first I want to mention as a movie I've loved watching because it's been on um, Max on Cinemax on demand um, my big fat Greek wedding that is one of my favorite movies I'm really disappointed I didn't mention it in my movie tag I should have probably said that is my favorite family movie um, 
but oh my god my big fat greek wedding is such a good movie it's so funny i could watch it probably over and over again too um i get in those moods where i could just watch one movie over and over again but it is such a funny movie if you haven't seen it i don't know where you've been for the last 10 or so maybe 12 years because i think it came out in the early 2000s um but it is amazing i've been loving it um i watch it every time i can get a chance to watch it a tv show i've been loving american horror story at first, I was not into American Horror Story. Like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, horror anything. Um, but I've been hearing people talk about it so much, so much, so much. And then I went over to my friend's house, and she was watching the new season. And I was like, oh, I don't want to watch it. It's probably so scary, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, I, she was watching the second episode of the fourth season. And I was like, this is an actually... I can actually see the appeal of why people like this so much. And... I got on this like kick where I was like, you know what, I'll go watch it. Even though I know you don't have to watch it from the beginning, I figured I'd watch the first season and the second season. I'm still waiting for the third season, just like all of America, to be on Netflix. I think it's ridiculous. But I finished the first and second season in a week and a half. I'm very <laughs> proud of myself, yet kind of weirded out at the fact that I could watch it so quickly like that. It's such a good show. If you were hesitant to watch it and you have like a pretty decently strong stomach, I would definitely recommend to see American Horror Story from the beginning, even though, again, you don't have to watch it from the beginning um, because it's different every season, but it is really good, and I think um, you might like it. Skylark11, I don't know what he goes by, um, but he is such a guy, good guy. He's on YouTube. I'll link him down below. Um, I... I had him as one of my Man Crush Mondays, and he um, he commented and liked it, and I was just like, oh my god, he's so cute, and he's so sweet, and he has such like a great speaking voice. He has a really good channel. He does like some singing, some talking, everything like that, and he's just a very um, positive person, and it's nice to hear him talk um, when you're having like a bad day. He's very like um, motivational t for you to love yourself and that kind of thing. So. Um, I've just been loving him as well. So that was all of my favorites. I feel like they get really long and I'm really sorry and I'm very long-winded about how I talk about things and I do apologize. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um, let me know some of your favorites for this month and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Um, <laughs> meh.